the Blender 4.5 official LTS is now available, and with it, a new way to fake merging objects. But is it worth it? See if you take two objects, smooth them with subdivisions, then head to Geometry Nodes. One of the new nodes is the Set Mesh Normal for Custom Normal Editing. Add it and set it to free. The Custom Normal vector here can be used with a sample nearest points from the other object, the original normal direction from a normal node. Plugging those to the Set Mesh node will have an effect, weird effect. But with a mix vector, having the A slot as the nearest point sample and the B as the base normal of the object, and by using a geometry proximity distance with a map range to control how far the normal go, we can get a somehow decent fake merging effect between those two objects. The set is easy, and you only need to do it once, then save it on your library. It's cool for small things, because if we go hard on the subs, it start lagging in the viewport. That's what I experience. So is it better than those two methods we used before to merge objects? It depends on how much control you need with the merging area, but it sure has its benefits being easy to set and undestructive. New other things are here in geometry nodes. You can now drop multiple files inside geometry nodes directly. You also have a number of import options in the add menu. Grease Pencil has a new set of nodes to better control it, and a Camera Info node is now available for culling. One thing before we end this video, last time I did try Vulcan with high subs, and it was hard to navigate, but since the official version dropped, I tried that again, and it went great. That's it. Have fun. Stay sharp. Goodbye.